Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is part 3 of the stars and bars counting technique. So in this lecture we are going to look at the second problem that we can solve using stars and bars technique. Before that, if you haven't seen the first two lectures of this series, then I recommend you to go into the stars uh, combinatorix playlist of uh, you can find it in my channel and then first watch those two because this is in continuation to the previous lectures so if we recap the stars and bars algorithm so this is used to solve equation like this suppose you are given an equation where there are there are k variables a1 plus a2 plus a3 dash dash a k and sum of them is equals to n where the variables can take values which are non-negative so variables can take values from 0 to anything so there the sum is equals to n so the total number of integral solution yeah the values of variables are integers so the total number of integral solution of this kind of equation is uh, c n plus k minus 1 comma k minus 1 this this is a binomial coefficient or c n plus k minus 1 comma n where n is total number of stars and k minus 1 are total number of bars so let's have a look at the problem that we would be solving in this lecture so the problem that uh, we are going to discuss is this you are you are given n and you have to count the total number uh, the total n digit numbers which can be formed uh, and the digits must be in non decreasing order such that each digit is from 0 to 9 means you have to find total number a uh, total n digit numbers where each digit can be either 0 1 2 3 and so on till 9 so how many total n digit number can be formed and there is also a condition that the digits must be in non decreasing order so if I take an example of this problem, it would be something like this. You are uh, you have to find total number of five digit numbers such that the digits are in non decreasing order, and each place can be filled from zero to three. That is the valid digits you can fill f are from zero to three. Some of the valid examples are this. These are all five digit numbers, and yep, you can have uh, zeros at the starting position now this is a valid five digit number uh, first thing is this is a five digit number and second all the digits are in non decreasing order so goes for these two numbers if you think about this since we have to make total uh, since the total number of digits have to be five so you can think of what should be the number of stars the formation of these numbers five digit number can be represented using this equation where the total number of stars are five because of course the total sum of digits would be five now a0 a1 a2 and a3 represent the number of presence of num zero in the number count of presence of one in the number or count of two in the number and count of three in in the form number so if we take this if we take this then a0 a1 and a2 a0 a1 and a2 all are 1 while a3 is 2 indicating in the form number there is 1 0 1 1 1 2 and 2 3 so it represents count of those numbers as you can see sum is of course 5 now for this there is a second number we can see uh, since 0 is appearing one time so a0 is 1 2 is appearing one time so a2 is 1 and since 1 is not appearing at all so a1 is 0 and 3 is appearing 3 times that is why a3 is 3 so sum of all these is 5 and this forms a valid number so goes for the last so we see we can represent these uh, a single number using this equation now if we find total number of solution it would uh, if we find total number of integral solution of this equation then we would find total number of solution or total number of five digit numbers which are in increasing order 
first thing we are sure that the total number of the sum of the digits would be 5 because that is the solution of this equation so sum would be 5 of course but how we can be so sure that the number would be in non-decreasing order so the reason is that the number would be in non-decreasing order because uh, if we are filling if a0 is positive so first we would fill the number of zeros and then after we would fill number of ones and then we would fill number of twos and threes so what is happening we are filling number of zeros before any other number any number which is greater than zero so we are filling zero first and then we are filling one and then two and then three so if you take an example of this it it suggests that okay we have to make five digit numbers using one time zero two time two and two time three so what we would do we would first fill zeros so we fill zeros and then we would see okay do i have to fill one no we don't have to fill one because its frequency is zero now do we have to fill two yes we have to fill two and we have to fill it two times so we would fill two twice and then we will we would fill three twice so what would ha what is happening here you are filling the ith digits first before any digit which is greater than this so uh, the number it is guaranteed to be in non decreasing order that is why the total number of solution of this e this equation would be total number of solution of this question so, and how many total number of solution of these equations are there we can solve it using stars and bars of course and we have seen it in previous lectures so for a equation of this we know how many stars are there the total number of stars total number of stars are equal to n the total number of digit in a number and that is 5 in this case total number of bars are of course total number of available digits which which are these so there are four available digits minus one that is uh, that is equals to k total number of bars are k which is four minus one because the available digits are four four minus one that is three so total number of solution of this equation of course is n plus k minus one comma k minus one or n plus k minus 1 comma k so i hope you have understood it and if you haven't seen the previous video of course you have to go and check out those videos first because this video is direct in continuation of the, those videos so if you are thinking what problems you can solve or even do some problems like these even appear in the competitive programming so the answer is yes and let me show you one of the problem that has recently appeared in the contest so the problem two arrays on code forces it was uh, it was asked in educational round 80 and the question is rated as 1600 yes you can solve this using uh, you can solve this problem using dp or combinatorics so i would suggest you guys to solve this problem on your own just look at the problem and you will see how difficult this problem looks and then just think for uh, some time how you can solve this problem using the algorithm that we have studied just now and if you can't just go to the tutorial and in the tutorial or the editorial just look for problem c two arrays and then you can find a tutorial which is of four or five line and then also solution so this was all and this is a practice problem for you guys i hope you can solve this and of course you learn something new from it so thank you guys for watching and yeah, keep coding thank you